Welcome back to another edition of Let's Play WWE 2004, and as always, Sam? <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Brooklyn, Brooklyn! Yeah. We'll be, uh... Well, actually, we haven't decided yet where we're holding WrestleMania, because I was just about to say we'll be in the city. We'll be in the city soon. Yeah, but did they have the Barclays Center in 2004? I don't think they do. No. So we have to go to Stoodle, Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Well, that's where they went, though, right? Uh-huh. Oh, then the hell yeah. Well, Kid Cash got taken to wrestler's court. For not being an hour, for being an hour late to pick up his travel partner. Good old Kid Cash. Yep. So, velocity. What do we do on the A show of A shows? The B show, you mean? Yeah. I want to. I want to feature some good cruiserweight match. Well, you know what? Let's feature the headbangers in a tag team match. Okay. Just for the hell of it. They look good to me. They they stick out. Okay. So we'll book this. Him against him. Eh, who cares? Jimmy, no, I mean, uh, either way, <laughs> either way, it doesn't really matter who wins. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the headbangers. Uh, you want to put him against Lundrick or Rikishi no, and Scotty? I'm actually picking Lundrick. And then we'll have uh, Kendrick and London win, and hopefully Brian Kendrick will get some rub off of it. Yeah, so he can actually start, you know, moving up. Because Brian Kendrick should not be a uh, opener or whatever he is. I'm sorry, but there's no excuse for that. Even in 2004. Let's just say, nowhere in his career, his entire career, should Brian Kendrick be lower than Paul London. <laughs> What do you have against Paul London? Hey, what do I not have against Paul London? I don't have anything against him. He's a beautiful dolphin. I just have ultra mega respect for Brian Kendrick. I have respect for anybody who trains who trains Eva Murray. Hey, he went from training Eva Murray to training Ronda Rousey. Yeah, so it must be good for him. She's gonna do slice bread number three as her finisher. That would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that would be <laughs> That would be funny. Yeah. That would be good. Um Just wanted to check out when our good friend Mr. Nakamura showed up. Has he been here since the start? What yeah. This first match, the beginning. Oh wait, Velocity, January week three. Uh huh. I guess we could take in another local talent for him this week. Yeah, no, he's ready for Oscar or Nakamura. Oh no, because I was thinking about having like a, a sit-down interview segment on SmackDown with him and not having him compete. Yeah, but then the language barrier thing. We can always do this. Jesse, the long, what the? Latin Freebird. It's awful. Eric Price. I'm okay with him losing to Nakamura. And we're going to be in Puerto Rico. I'm not gonna comment on Bobcat though. Puerto Rico. The, uh, see, their catchphrase was so insignificant that I don't even remember what it was. Who, Eric Priest? No. We're in Puerto Rico. Oh. No, we are we? Yeah. Oh, crap. Language barrier again. The Shining Star, the Caribbean. Do we have them in the company? I don't think they're even active yet. <laughs> we 
can't change our place because you already got a local talent. Oh no, we're fine. Oh, okay. English okay, and okay. Spanish. Do we have Carlito yet, or no? Uh... I don't think we do, huh? Yeah, we do. He's down in developmental. Well, you want to give him a dark match? On velocity? I mean, that's the only type of match he would be good at, because he sucks. <laughs> well, I mean, we're in Puerto Rico, okay? Yeah. When in Oklahoma, you gotta shit on Jim Ross. When in Puerto Rico, you gotta shit on Carlito. Okay. Oh my goodness, I just thought of the greatest idea. Did it Disco Inferno does an open challenge. I was just about to ask, does it involve Disco Inferno? Disco Inferno lays out an open challenge and Carlito comes out and he squashes him on TV. The only problem with that is Disco's a heel and Carlito will likely come up as a heel. Um, you can't... Oh, that's true. Okay. Never mind, alright? That's Paul Bear. I know. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, yes, Brian Kendrick! Brian Kendrick! <laughs> <laughs> they are apparently feuding with the Impact players, so we need to give them a little bit of an... Um, uh, a little bit of a... You know... A good going. <laughs> you know what? Next week, let's see Brian Kendrick lose the last storm, then. Since Brian Kendrick is so damn low on the totem pole. Hmm. I'm not telling you nothing that you don't already know. Hmm. What about Sean O'Hare versus Shinsuke Nakamura? Do you think it's too long, too soon to give Shinsuke a feud? Well, we can do it next week. No, I mean in a feud. Oh, that, no, I wouldn't mind that at all. Because Shinsuke's actually up to a mid-carder now. Oh, congratulations, Shinsuke. Yeah, we pushed him We pushed him all the way from Enhancement Talent to mid-carder. So I'd say we could, start, we could get the feud going. Yeah, I agree. It won't be a WrestleMania match, but... I mean, it might be. It might be a WrestleMania mid-card match. Well, if we have the time for it. Oh yeah, but you're right, though. It is so close to WrestleMania that it, we don't even need it at WrestleMania. Yeah. Um. Because we're, what, two weeks away? Mm-hmm. No, a week. Nice. And this isn't the go-home show. Next week's the go-home show. Nice. <sighs> uh... As Nakamura comes down, uh, I mean, as Nakamura, as Sean O'Hare goes back, Nakamura comes down. Oh, and they pass each other in the aisle? Uh-huh. That's good. That's a good way to start it. And I'm all for Disco Inferno versus Ernest Miller in a, in a, in a, in a dance-off. <laughs> Only problem is one of them are a baby face. I mean, one of them are in a baby face. Both of them are heels. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I remember that. Kaudai against, uh... Yeah, we haven't been paying a lot of attention to that. Well, that just started, because it's Tajiri versus Rey Mysterio. <laughs> and you also can't expect the feud with it where Tajiri actually cut a promo to actually be doing that well. Because Tajiri was never that good at cutting promos. Hmm. I mean, just something to talk about for the announcers. We just give a highlight video of what's happened between Shelton, Charlie, and the Guerreros. And then we could do a, a main event. So, uh, those guys aren't in the main event. Um, hmm.
You want to do Ultimo Dragon versus Billy Kidman in the main event? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Should be a decent match. Of course, we have to add more time. Actually... No, of course we have to add more time, or we can just subtract time from a match. No, we need to... Sasha Banks was held up to do that last night. We need to add another segment. Um, well, it could. Well, it's not taped this, it's not aired the same way. I was gonna say we could just do a segment with people air, I mean, with people, uh, arriving, but we can't do that because it's not the same. Um, you know what week? No, it doesn't air the same week though, I don't think. Oh, that's what we could do. We could just have Hugo Savitovich and Carlos Cabrera talking about WrestleMania. Yeah. And then we can actually, you know, program in next week the people that aren't going to be at WrestleMania. We can put them in, uh, put them on the show next week. Uh, because they're not going to be on the, you know what I mean? We could do Rey Mysterio versus, uh, the Jerry's Henchman in a handicap match. Yeah. Sean O'Hare's getting better. Yep. Oh. So it's either drug rehab or I can't say oh, I'm surprised. Yeah, I can't say I'm surprised with that. Okay, overness not bad. I didn't really want to try uh, entertainment because I was a little nervous. Oh, he's getting a fifty. Nakamura did better than oh. Sean O'Hare. <laughs> Eighty-five. Good segment for the the show. <laughs> um, Jamie Noble, no surprise there. Jamie Noble even did better than Orlando Jordan. Hey, Josh Matthews did decent. Oh, we need to get Brian Kendrick a different gimmick. Oh, uh, yeah. Paul London is better than Brian Kendrick only because they're more popular than Brian Kendrick. Or he's more popular than Brian Kendrick. That's why he's a mid Carter and Brian Kendrick's an opener. Whoever made this yeah, file is not a fan that. of Brian Kendrick. Well, Look, I hope you know that every single show you book, Bret Hart's watching you. I thought I saw somebody watching. Yeah, it's Brett. Looking like Santa Claus. <laughs> not bad. Yeah. Shane McMahon looks like he's taking a dump in that picture. Maybe he is. He's like, oh, I've been pushing so hard, it just won't come out. Maybe he is. Maybe. Uh. Maybe he's like trying to push out the silver spoon that's so far of his. Never mind. Okay, so we did a six-man tag to end off the show last week, mixing things up. Instead of having Benoit and Jericho with Angle and Brock, it, it was the APA with, uh, and Caden, Caden Gingerak with Angle and Brock. Yeah. And we continued Kane and The Undertaker, John Cena, James Mitchell was introduced as to Jerry's manager. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Actually, let's do a six-man tag uh, with the Jerry and Rey Mysterio's group. With with uh, the Jerry's group against Rey Mysterio and two random babyface cruiserweights. Okay. There was an idea. Um, Chris Benoit. Whoa, he's dead. 
Paul Heyman. I don't think Brock should be there, but Jericho will be, because last week, Chris impersonated Benoit, and that's the worst thing you could do to Chris Benoit. <laughs> Jericho impersonated him last week? I thought about that, I guess. Yeah, well, it was either. Yeah, right here. Nice. We're so mean. Uh huh. He's like, damn it, I want it tonight! Yeah, but that's when. Uh, that's when Paul tells Chris that the other Chris isn't here. And you can't have him tonight, you have to wait till WrestleMania. Yep. We'll have an impersonation on a pole match. We'll have a uh, Chris Benoit look-alike on a forklift match. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you want to do John Cena and A-Train? Oh, wait, we just did that because they were in the, uh, the U.S. title scramble, huh? Mm-hmm. I just figured it would make John Cena look strong. Bob Holly. <laughs> hey, train wins. <laughs> Break his neck. Dump him on his head. <laughs> we love hardcore Holly. <laughs> love you, Bob. <laughs> We're not going to repackage you a sparky plug again. We just like you better when you're at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, what about Scotty Too Hotty and Rikishi against a tag team of Disco Inferno and Ernest the Cat Miller? Uh, unfortunately that, that sounds okay. Because I, I'm still on that dance-off thing. <laughs> I'm still on that dance-off thing. Um, so, Wait, yeah. Why do we not have Brian Christopher? Because he's in TNA. Oh, damn it. Why do we not have Takamichi Naku? Pretty sure he's in Japan. Damn it. Yeah, I have an answer for everything. So now we're going to pull a WCW and have our cruiserweights compete in a cruiserweight match. <gasps> Six men. That's what WCW always did with yeah, the people that's nobody cares. Yeah, because they used the people that nobody cared about. Uh, uh, I mean, unless we use him or Dragon again, we don't have another babyface mm. cruiserweight. Go a little bit lower on the car, go lower mid. Unless we dump him in it. Uh, what about Chavo? Oh wait, no, Chavo's busy. Yeah, um, because we don't have any other babyface cruiserweights. Go even lower, go to opener. I mean, the only other oh, cruiserweight. Cash. He's a heel. Oh. Unless you want to, unless you want me to get rid of the pre-show match and have Funaki be in it. Yeah, let's yeah, let's put Funaki in it. That's almost comical, but. Alrighty, I'll take care of that, and Tajiri, and Funaki. Mr. Mysterious Shannon Warren Funaki. <laughs> so, uh, do you think Tajiri gets the pinfall on Ray? Okay. Or Tajiri can get pinfall on Funaki. That's true too. Um. Funaki, Shannon Warren, Mysterio. What an odd couple. You know the funniest thing about people coming back was that Vince McMahon brought Shannon Moore back and named him the Reject. (laughs) Vince, 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 we love you, but God. 
Before you know, people, we also hate the shit out of you. Before you know it, he's gonna have people start dressing up like an owl. Just because of the fact that... Uh, hey, the Brooks boyfriend died, by the way. Oh, that stinks. I don't know if you know or if you care. Um, since we're on camera, yes, I care. <laughs> okay, he is uh, a bodybuilder named Dallas Carver. No, Dallas McCarver. And apparently he died this morning or last night chewing his food. Choking on food. So our condolences to Dana Brooke uh, in what probably is a terrible, terrible time. Is it too soon to make a joke about him choking on his own food? Uh, on camera, yes. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. He must have been really hungry, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. We, we made jokes about Chris Benoit dying. We made Chris Benoit jokes last time. I've been making Chris Benoit jokes since 2007. I don't care. Oh, nice. It's not like Dana Brooke. Holden Jr., 49 It's not like Dana uh, Brooke is going to watch us. It's true. Sorry. Dana Brooke watches. Sorry. Push her to the moon, damn it. Sorry, Dana. Dana Brooke, if you're watching, we'll give you a big push when you debut in the wrestling world if you're offended. If you actually debut. <laughs> Well, when she debuts, I mean, eventually, right? What year did she come into wrestling? 2012? Not even the faintest idea. 2013? We'll get there. Um. I looked, saw, and forgot. I really don't remember which segment, what I wanted to book. <laughs> I think you're very confused right now. I am very confused right now. Oh. I remember now. You should do it with Jimmy Noble gets the idiot's face and say, I'm Jamie Noble boy! Jamie Noble boy! Who the hell's James Mitchell? Did we send him away? We had him last week and then he's not here now. What the fuck? Did we... Did we... There he is. Oh, he's still on Raw, that's why. We never switched him. And yet, he's managing Tajiri. <laughs> so he That's was... Ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, he, <laughs> he was on the episode show managing somebody who was on this show. Hey, do you want a spoiler for SmackDown tonight? Okay. It's not a potential spoiler. I mean, it's not a confirmed spoiler. It's just a potential spoiler. Okay. It's who was so who was seen walking into the building just a few minutes ago. It's a former NXT champion. Oh, I was gonna say Dixie Carter. <laughs> no, a lot more glorious than Dixie Carter. I also heard rumors that uh, the WWE is feeling. Uh, poorly about Baron Corbin. And I heard that so too. Bobby Roode's going to kind of take his spot as one of the top heels. I heard that too. Well, that explains Adam Cole getting the automatic jolt into the... Uh, automatic jolt yeah, into the... Yeah, Bobby Roode not getting it. If Bobby Roode doesn't get a rematch, you know, it's because yeah. he's going straight, straight up. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Well, honestly, he never even needed NXT, to tell you the truth. NXT needed him. That's true. Because of that interaction with Paul, Chris is going to crush our favorite jobber, Mr. Snooker. As long as you don't tell him to catch Undertaker, he'll be fine. <laughs> Speaking of that, we did say... Oh, wait, I wanted to get grab somebody from Developmental. Yeah, Carlito. <laughs> Love Alberto. Alberto Del Rio! Well, we don't have Paige yet, so we shouldn't bring up Del Rio. Oh, there's Paige. She can be Paige. Well, I figured if you can Paige, make... Silly, yeah. If you can make jokes about what you made jokes about, I can make jokes Paige. about what I just said. Paige 
Which isn't even born yet, okay, in this save. Yeah, a bunch of reels are already like almost 30. Yeah. So. I love him. I, I, I love him, but he's gonna get crushed by Kane. Wait, who did you just bring up? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well, you'll see in a second then. <laughs> Undertaker! You little bastard! First you burned me alive, and now you never come out from hiding. What You're a that? piece of crap. Oh, dang. JJ, okay. Can you act like you're dead? Or I do that for a while. Uh, let's do that, and then... Then we'll fix the formatting so we don't have two jobber matches right after each other. And it's okay, JJ. He, you'll, uh... And put Barry, too. Or not Barry, uh, Dominate. That's so a bet, yeah, then Dominate. Right there, Domination. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> JJ's not supposed to dominate. So let's push this forward. So we have competitive matches in between non-competitive matches. Um... Oh yeah, and we're driving Billy Gunn out on the road to WrestleMania because after WrestleMania, he's gonna move to the tag team division. Exactly. Um, speaking of the tag team division, I was trying to figure hey. out a. Um, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was trying to figure out a way to get because we have the four corners tag team match planned for Mania. How do you think is the best way to have them come together, the feuds come together? Mm, you could just have them come out of the ring and they all brawl with each other. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like you well, have, you would actually have. Um, you have them all say that they deserve a tag team title shot. But in I was thinking about intertwining the fuse, like having Jade and Kendrick, but it, Jade and Kate and Jindrak against two of the other guys, and then having APA come in. And they beat up their guys, but then it ends up being a brawl, and, and I don't know. But in defense of the APA, Jindrak and Kate have never beat them. Okay, then yeah, let's just say that they all deserve a title shot. That's fine. Do I? Do we have enough spaces for everybody? Well, what I was thinking is, what about just having the APA face Jindrak and Kate tonight? And have Ginger and Kincaid win, and then we put together the feuds next week, because we still have one week before the pay-per-view. Okay, that works. Because also, they just did a segment together last week with uh, Angle, Bro Angle and Brock to set up the six-man. Um, so we can do the tag team match. Oh, I'll turn back on brands in a second. I forgot. I forgot they were off. This is not a super smackdown, so... <laughs> for anybody thinking that it is, I just forgot to turn back on brands when we used Kane. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Manager interference. Okay, brands are back on. Um, um, so Brock was featured in the main event, uh, singles match two weeks ago, six man tag team match last week. Alright, so we'll definitely get Brock the day off. Angle was featured three weeks ago. Um, hmm. Hmm. Angle. Who do we have Angle go against in a warm-up match? You want to try Rhino? Yeah, we could do that. I'm more confident with Rhino than I am with uh, Ken Shamrock. Yeah. I did have to laugh, though, that 
I was playing a 2006 save, and one of the independent companies signed. Um, one of the independent companies signed. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Ken Shamrock. Let's um, let's have a face to face next week between Kurt Angle and Brock. Mm-hmm. And tonight we'll end the show with Paul Heyman coming out and saying that next week Brock Lesnar will be here for. Uh, yeah, that works. I just want to book a match as the opener because I don't really like the idea of having James Mitchell and uh, James That's Mitchell funny. and his group as the opener. Actually, what's our second highest feud right now? Well, they weren't up. Uh. uh John Cena and the Big Show. Is it? Okay, what's our third hottest one? John Cena and Jericho the Big Show. Benoit? No, John Cena and the Big Show is lower than uh, Jericho and Benoit. So this is third, uh, John Cena, uh, third second. Okay. Okay, what's a feud that we're not doing anything with? Uh... How does Sean Hurst promo? You have Sean Hurst come out and talk and do a promo about Shinsuke? Well, no, the the feud just started earlier on Velocity. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Next week. Because uh, we should probably start the show off with a talking segment. How about them? We could do that. That's fine. I mean, well, 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 it's just... We started Raw off with a talking segment, though. You want to... Sp- no, that's fine. No, it's good. It's just usually you get a better... Uh, this is shows off to a good start, you know what I mean? Well, we can... Yeah, no, it's fine. Because I know the people... I know Justin Incredible and Lance Storm ain't going to get a good talking segment. No well, offense. How about this? How about we have Paul Heyman open the show by saying that Kurt Angle's going to work tonight? Don't think you're going to easy easy time from here to WrestleMania, Kurt, because you're going to work. Yeah. That works. <laughs> Instead, can, of, instead of the promo at the end. Well, we could book that that one at the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I remember what you're saying now. Yeah, yeah. We'll have Paul Heyman uh, just cut out and say that, like, because he's the GM, so he can say that. Uh. You know what? I'll book it like this. Kurt will be off screen. Yeah, Kurt Angle off screen. And Ryan. Brock off screen. Oh yeah, yeah, him too. Off screen and Brock off screen, and since everybody else is rated, we'll. <coughs> and that kicks off SmackDown Live. Okay, fine. I'll give him five minutes. Okay, and- now Carlito, dark match. Well, let me. Just do it, do it, do it, do it. He's an opener. So he doesn't have to win said dark match. No, he does not. Yeah, I'm giving him promo time before his dark promo. Nice. Said dark match. Yeah, it's gonna be a dark promo, the likes of which Sean O'Hare has never even seen. Holy crap, he's a baby face. <laughs> I guess I could do the match with Nundio then. Nice. So does that mean you wanna let Nundio win? Let's let the computer pick. Another game, whatever. Okay. Okay, let's see his promo. 41, not bad. Not bad for a pre-show promo. He improvised well. Yeah. Nunzio! Carlito got a 28. No wonder why he's still in developmental. 28, wow. He can't even do good in his home state. Country, or whatever. Italy. Pretty cool there. (laughs) There we go. Michael Cole sucks. 
It's a good way to start up the show, though. Yes, you would have been better than this. Chavo gets a solid victory over uh, Sean o- uh Sorry. Chuck Palumbo. I was thinking of Sean O'Hare. I can't believe Chavo's like 57. Yeah. Well, he's also a lower mid-carder, I think, because of the... Uh, uh, I think Eddie kept his popularity and Chavo lost his when we had uh, w- uh, the world's greatest beat him. Yeah. <coughs> right around what last week got. Not bad. Thinking about ha- letting... What? Oh, meh. Wait, what's wrong? Oh, they're not preparing? Yeah. Oh, I remember now. I remember. Well, let's just see the dirt sheet. Do we lose anything? Yeah, we lose her managerial chemistry. Uh, you can take him off to Jerry and put him on those two guys only. True, true. 73, not bad. Wow. There you go, A-Train. Maybe you'll face John Cena. <laughs> Maybe he'll get a U.S. title shot after WrestleMania. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we spoiled it, didn't we? No. I mean, against the big show. Yeah, he'll turn baby face. He'll shave his chest and his back, and he'll turn baby face. <laughs> yeah, that's it. 84, by the way. Not bad. Oh. Dang, 55? That was good. That's good. Well, a 49-second match, and JJ got a 17, so... That's true. Eighty-three. Nice. Thank you, JJ. <laughs> He's a star. Yeah. Seventy-five. Big Show gets a. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then John Cena comes out yielding a microphone. Hey, yo, Big Show! You're big slow. You're big stupid. You're big crooked. Big Show can't go. Can barely go more than twelve minutes. Yeah, yep. He's big, man. What can you say? Big Show talks about John Boy. Oh, John Cena. Okay, okay. I thought John Cena came out, but no. Chris Benoit. Oh, Benoit with a 90. Yeah. Hello? Sorry. Uh, Yeah, uh, against our favorite jobber. Yeah. (laughs) Our favorite cameraman. Yeah. He's a guy Taker always wants at, at ringside. <laughs> uh, Dawn makes me wonder why I actually let her have unscripted promos. Yes, you should never do that again. But she'll get mad if I don't. Well, then make her mad. Kaden Murdoch. I mean, Kaden Jindrak won't. I mean, this is also how they get I mean, better Martin at promos. Martin Jindrak struggled with going on scripts. You should, you should have made Martin Jindrak go off the script. Yay. Caden Murdoch. Hmm. Can we change Jindrak's name to Murdoch? <laughs> uh, no, we can't. Mark, Mark, Mark Murdoch? <laughs> um, yeah, K- Caden Murdoch won. Jindrak. They, had a break. they did really good performances, too. 56 <laughs> and 57. Yeah. They're getting better. Yeah, that's true. Bradshaw's getting better, too. Maybe I should have given them unscripted promos. Maybe they would have did better than fucking Don Marie. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 90. I know I should have given them 20 minutes. <laughs> I was just thinking in real life that it will, what? Kurt's gonna take 20 minutes to beat Rhino and then he's gonna. You know, that's not really making him a threat to Brock. I mean, it is putting over Rhino, but it, I mean, I guess I was thinking too far into it. I should have given it 20 minutes. Maybe they would have done better. I don't think they would have gotten an 80, but I think they would have did better. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Take it any worse. Uh... Oh, shit. That could be a problem going forward. Yeah, what a shock. Smackdown. Did very poorly. Yeah. 
Lost popularity in one region, and uh, I mean, gained popularity in one region, lost popularity in 18. Maybe we should have had Kane in the Undertaker main event. Huh. That's Kane and Ginger Fresh in the main event. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately. Hmm. Unfortunately. Oh, that's we, the main event, may, drugs. Yeah, unfortunately, we may have a problem here. And this may be when we uh, uh, have. You know what? Let's uh, let's make Kurt work another match next week on SmackDown, and see what happens. And then if that's the case, maybe we keep the belt on Brock. We have after WrestleMania. I can't. But then we also risk killing and Brock Lesnar if we put them at WrestleMania together. Well, no. Then we put then we put Brock over. We put Brock over. Yeah, but he's still gonna be pissed off that. Kurt Angle showed up to WrestleMania on drugs. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, even if, even if next week Kurt's clean, I don't know if I trust him main event. I don't know if I trust him main eventing. I don't know if I trust him with the belt. Yeah, that either. Yeah, so, maybe so let's just get to WrestleMania and then possibly if we need to, after Mania, we'll send Kurt to rehab. Maybe we'll put Sean and Hunter in the main event. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I'm just gonna respect on main event. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I was not expecting this whatsoever at all. But it's. <laughs> this is that the first time this has happened with Kurt? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It does explain why the match got as low as it did. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's like, you're, you just won the Rumble. Come on now, don't do this. Yeah, why couldn't you have done it in the Rumble? <laughs> then we could have Randy Orton, I mean, Rey mysterio you and have you lo- lost to Randy Orton and had Randy Orton go to WrestleMania. Or somebody else. Or somebody else. Ken Shamrock. Or somebody else. <laughs> Jeff Hardy. <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's, I wasn't expecting this. Neither was I, man. Neither was I. I wasn't expecting Kurt to turn up as a drug addict. Yeah, I think either way, Kurt has to, Kurt has to lose. Um, so you should get going though, so you can get your, you know, get ready and stuff. But yeah, that was good. We'll see what happens, uh. Is this this is not the go home show, right? No, for those. Do we need the go home show? Yep, for you and the, for okay. those who are watching, we still have one more week before WrestleMania, and hopefully right. one more week to sort things out with Kurt Angle, and figure okay, out so exactly what's going to happen. Uh, Brock Kurt Angle face to face, and then we'll take both of them, and then we'll put maybe uh, we'll put Cena in some kind of main event match. Sounds good. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll no, see how he does. All of you have something to look forward to, but let us know down in the comment section below what you think we should do with Kurt, and if you have any Rehab. any opinion on the Wrestlema- on WrestleMania, should a Hell in a Cell match with Shawn Michaels and Hunter main event, or should we still give Kurt and Brock the opportunity? Let us know down in the comment section below. But if you don't want to leave a comment, you can always leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this that you can only find right here at Wrestling Express. Till next time. Peace.